massage. We did this already. Alleviate purpose, our self massage, alleviate sore spots, clear away energy, make the body more flexible, transition to your city. All of you should be very proud of yourself. Because I was going to take more breaks, but uh, we only take one break. And you guys are sitting through many hours. You know? The time is almost over, so I'm not going to give you a good break. <laughs> <laughs> we still got one more method to, to use. I want to talk about rebuilding our minds at a micro-circuitry level. Meditation on breath is kind of developing concentration and clarity. This is one aspect of our being. Another aspect is emotional. And we associate our friends and the people around us unconsciously, moment to moment, we categorize them into, compartmentalize them into friend, foe, neutral, I don't care. Continuously. You see someone walking down the street, dressed a certain way, you already categorize that, that, that person. You see the cashier, I don't care. Have a nice day, yeah, you too. You go to Starbucks. You know, we, he says, how are you? Bye. He doesn't mean it, and you don't mean it. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing it because his boss is telling him, say that to every customer. <laughs> so you say, have a nice day, you don't really mean it. So you already categorize, go through your life, categorize people into good, bad, and I don't care. This is a way to break up that on an emotional level. Our brain rebuilds implicit and explicit memory. Part of this memory is built by the baggage that we say, that I said that fill out most of the details of the 90% of the details of what we see, right? The baggage that we bring. Same thing. <clears throat> In the process of rebuilding moment, memory is built moment to moment to moment. It's not like memory is like this thing. I'm just calling it to mind. So I have memory changes. Memory is a moment to moment uh, rebuilt neurologically. Now, in the process of doing this, whether implicit or explicit memory. Our mind draws on key features and um, simulating capacity, simulation, construction, me mental construct, mm -hmm. to fill in most of the details. When a memory is activated, a large scale of assembly of neurons and synapses are emerging. Our brain is actually firing at a very, very fast pace. Now, when we are Engaging in a very strong positive thought is present. Right? Say you're in a good mood and you recall a memory of someone uh, that has done harm to you, a bad memory. What actually happens, your amygdala and your hippocampus is syncretically blending. It starts to blend neuron by neuron. This is a biological aspect. Constructing that memory. And what happens is during that construction of that memory, they will automatically associate this with this previous thought, which happened to be like your mood that day, right? or you're happy and someone steps on your foot, or uh, something happens. You process it very differently. And that memory actually leaves awareness. It will be reconsolidated and stored along with a positive association. Now this is how memory works. I'm talking about implicit, not explicit, the baggage that we bring. Right? So this is the mechanism behind the next method of practice I'm going to teach you, which is called loving kindness. It breaks up all of our categorization, compartmentalization of all the type of people that we have in our daily life. <clears throat> First one is self. Your own self. Trust me, some people, they don't love themselves. They don't like themselves. 
So self, your relational self, friend, a benefactor, someone that has you know, benefited you, someone very easy for you to generate thankfulness and great gratitude. Third category, family. Why do I put family third and not earlier? Because family is pretty complex. You love them and you hate them. You think about your mom, oh, and you know, the last week she did this, that was really, you know, kind of very complex. You want to prepare the mind. First start with yourself, or first start with the second category. Someone very easy to give rise to thankfulness to. So third category is family. Third, a fourth type, neutral person. And then the fifth one, difficult person. The ultimate goal of loving kindness is to develop equanimity. Every category, you will be able to see, you will be able to receive, and you will be able to give uh, care, love, and concern, genuine human concern. You know, to break up this automatic, habitualized categorization. And the way to do it is, this type of meditation is a process of familiarization. So, uh, during the meditation process, you actually put yourself first in a positive frame of mind. I like this picture here. That, you know, spring. You can think about you know, something very beautiful. You can think about kind of a spring prairie. You know, the spring is blossoming green. Or you can think about the time that you actually uh, stepped out of a jacuzzi. You know, very relaxed, you know, on vacation, whatever. Or think about some, someone that you actually are very grateful to. This has to be a real person. Yeah. Once you generate this mindset, put yourself in a very loving gratitude, then with that feeling, familiarize yourself with that feeling, and then generate ever gradual, difficult type of person. First start with something positive. Maybe yourself, you can love yourself you know, uh, as a foundation. If you can't love yourself, you can't love other people. <clears throat> if you don't love yourself, if you hate yourself, your love is probably control. It's not actually love. You, you want to control your partner. You know, where were you? Three o'clock. I called you, your phone didn't answer. Why? You know, it's a kind of control. It's not love. You know? So a person that has a very secure sense of love, you know, they're secure about themselves, they're not insecure, someone not there to call them and fantasize their story about it. Right? So, um, start with someone that you can uh, do very easily, and then slowly work on the next category of people, the next category of people, the next category of people. <laughs> now, usually we do this, choose one category for like three months, or one year, and then the next category of people. Uh, traditionally, <clears throat> in Mahayana Buddhism, in Zen, this is manifested as transferring on merit, hui xiang, hui xiang gong de, or gan yin, li bai, and the, so it's kind of gratitude in uh, uh, transferring the merits of your practice to someone, uh, to all beings, or uh, doing kind of prostration, you're kind of reverent, reverential practice. Uh, but in meditation, this is also uh, extremely powerful. Would you like to try? Okay, we'll do a very quick rundown. So, let's dim the lights. Put yourself in a very uh, relaxed state. Hands on your knees. Body upright. If you like to sit on a chair, that's fine. The key is to relax the body. <coughs> Feel very comfortable. Any posture is fine. Now, it generates a very pleasant feeling. Perhaps the feeling of gratitude of someone. You can think of that person. Or think of a scene. Lying in the bathtub, body completely relaxed, section by section, part by part. 
feeling warm or in embrace by someone that loves you. The point is, bring yourself in that situation and then just retain the feeling. Retain the feeling. Relaxed, natural. Generate an image. Visualize yourself. Just the face and the neck and the shoulders. Just that view, not the whole body. See yourself like in the mirror, smiling back at you. So use your mind's eye to see this. And repeat after me silently to yourself. safe. Always. May I be safe. May I be free from danger. Sending good wishes to yourself. See yourself. Gentle smile. May I be healthy in body. Happy in mind. May I be at peace. Body relaxed. Soft and gentle. The mind joyful. Gentle smile. Like I said, we meditate on this uh, for the whole duration of the sitting period uh, every day for a long time until you're familiar with it. Three months, six months. But now we're going to go through all the different categories. Next, generate a benefactor. Someone that you can very easily feel great, grateful to. A real person. Someone that has helped you. Feel yourself with love and care. Genuine good feelings. And say to yourself, May you be safe. Always. Free from danger. Genuinely want this person that you see in your mind to receive this. Next, may you be healthy in body. May you be happy and joyful. See this person clearly. We see him. Next, a family member. <coughs> see this person clearly. One person at a time. It's just one person. Someone 